fat guy builds episode. Today we're doing a thermostat and some hoses and putting some new coolant in. Getting this thing ready for twin turbos and uh, every video up until then is going to be mods to support that. So let's get to the job. The thermostat is right here in front of the motor in between the intake. So we're going to take out this intake. You need to remove your sound composer if you have that. You need to remove this PCB and you need to remove this other suction vacuum line over here. That will be the same on a stock intake. Um, so just do those steps. Undo this clamp here and then pull your intake tube out. On the stock intake tube you're also going to have to unscrew it on this end and then don't forget to unplug your MAF sensor. We can't really do anything else until we drain the fluid so let's crack this lid and then we'll go underneath and we will drain it from the drain plug on the radiator. So we got a bunch of seven millimeter screws all around here just take them all off that's connected to this. We got these little pull, uh, pull lock plastic clips one here one here and then another one on the top here on each side so there's three and three. Pull out the white plug on the passenger side and let all the antifreeze go into the front yard of your house to kill all your weeds. Once it is just barely dripping, tighten down the plug again. Disconnect the front hose, the back hose, and the drain from your overflow. And next, we're going to take out these two bolts and remove the overflow. But before we do that, we also have this hose that goes into the bottom of this. But you have to remove these bolts, lift it up, then you can disconnect the bottom hose. I have the Mishimoto top hose, so we're going to undo this clamp, pull it off the radiator, and then it comes over here, and we need to pull this metal clip out. So I'm going to get a small flat head or a pick and pop this little clip out to where it comes out this way, and that will unhook it from this metal Y. So this hose, that goes to the bottom of the reservoir. I also have a new one of those, a shiny Mishimoto. So, take off this clamp, remove this, and we're going to put this on. Slide the hose on, but do not tighten it yet. On each side, there's a little groove. So when you're lining it up, make sure these grooves are lined up. This one, you're just going to slowly wiggle and push. It'll click. Once it clicks, it'll be fully seated. Remove the two eight millimeter bolts and then this hose will come off and the thermostat will fall out. So this piece of crap says 180F. Guess what, my car runs at 190, 192. So this shit's going in the trash. Now put your new O-ring and your new thermostat in and put the two eight millimeter bolts back. So don't be a dummy like me, okay? It goes thermostat in, then the O-ring, then the bottom housing. I had it the opposite way on accident and it was dripping and then I had to take it back apart and I pissed antifreeze all over the floor like a moron. So don't do what I did. I also have this top hose. So you pull the clamp, remove it from the nipple here, throw this thing in the trash and uh, then we're going to install the new one. Boom, that one's done. Next is the back one that connects to the back side of the reservoir and it goes up and over to there. So we're going to remove that clamp and pull that hose off. The new hose is in now. You got the clamp tightened, comes across, runs through. It's right here. It's going to plug in the reservoir. This is going to plug in the reservoir. I left this one loose so I can bend it, plug that in the bottom of the reservoir. Thermostat's nice and tight. So I guess the next thing is uh, putting the reservoir back. Leave this overflow totally unbolted until you get all the hoses on. And then pull it this way as hard as you can. And then tighten those bolts. All that's done now. 
So we're going to go on, go ahead and reverse the steps you did to take off your air intake tube and put it back on. And then we're going to get to filling and bleeding and uh, making sure everything's good. Now I'm going to fill up the system. The system wasn't 100% empty, so I'm going to fill half and half as close as possible. All right, everything under here is done now. So let's go underneath and put the under tray back on. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this far. If you are at this point in the video, hit like, subscribe, and all that. And I just started a Patreon for whatever I want to do a project for the, the fans. Anybody who wants to see a certain project. I have a, a voter poll up on Patreon right now. So check that out. Link's in the description. Until next time, we're in John.